In a world often driven by ambition, relentless striving, and the pursuit of control, the ancient Chinese concept of Wu Wei shines as a beacon of wisdom. Imagine for a moment a river, meandering effortlessly through a valley, shaping the world around it without the slightest hint of resistance. This is Wu Wei, often translated as non-action, effortless action, or actionless action. It is a profound philosophical idea that invites us to flow with the rhythms of life rather than constantly resist or force them. In this video, we will explore the concept of Wu Wei and its key principles that offer valuable insights into living a harmonious and purposeful life. The concept of Wu Wei finds its roots in the heart of Taoism, a philosophical current that seeks to understand the Wei, or the Tao, that underlies all things. Imagine the Tao as the ultimate cosmic rhythm, the cosmic dance that orchestrates galaxies and guides the flight of birds. Wu Wei is about learning to move in step with this dance, to harmonize with the symphony of existence rather than attempting to lead it. English writer Alan Watts once compared this dance with the Tao to riding the crest of a wave. To truly ride the wave, you don't fight it or resist it, but rather, you become one with it, riding its flow effortlessly. In Wu Wei, we are like surfers of the cosmos, catching the waves of life's unfoldment and gracefully riding them. So, what does it mean, this art of non-forcing, this Wu Wei? It means acknowledging that there's a natural order to things, a cosmic rhythm, and a wisdom that far surpasses our own. It's the realization that sometimes, the harder we push, the more we strive, the more we resist, the farther we move from the true essence of existence. In our modern world, we try to control and manipulate our lives with all our might, desperately seeking to fit into a predefined mold of success and happiness. And in doing so, we forsake the beauty of simply being. Wu Wei teaches us to let go of this frantic struggle, to release the grip of the ego that drives us to dominate and control. It's not about surrendering to idleness or indifference, but realizing that sometimes, the most profound transformations happen when we cease our incessant striving. The ego, that relentless voice in our heads, the driving force behind our ambitions and desires. It's the part of us that insists we must be in control, that we must be the masters of our destiny. But Wu Wei whispers a different truth in our ears, that the more we clutch at control, the more it eludes us. Our minds often attempt to draw a boundary between ourselves and the rest of the world. We imagine ourselves as separate, autonomous beings, and we constantly strive to protect and preserve this illusion of separateness. But Wu Wei invites us to recognize the fallacy of this separation. It calls us to dissolve the boundaries that keep us apart from the world, to realize that we are not mere spectators, but integral participants in the grand play of existence. In letting go of the ego's quest for dominance, we embrace a profound interconnectedness with all that is. One of the key tenets of Wu Wei is the wisdom of spontaneity. Imagine a musician improvising a soul-stirring melody, a painter allowing the brush to dance across the canvas without preconceived notions. That's the essence of Wu Wei in action. It's the art of trusting our intuition, of allowing life to flow through us without the cumbersome burden of overthinking and overanalyzing. The conscious mind, while valuable, often gets in the way of the deeper wisdom that resides in the unconscious. In Wu Wei, we tap into this wellspring of intuitive knowing, allowing it to guide our actions and decisions. Think of a child at play, fully engrossed in the moment, unburdened by the constraints of judgment and expectation. That child embodies the spirit of Wu Wei, embracing life with a sense of wonder and spontaneity. It's a reminder that in the dance with the Tao, we, too, can become like children, rediscovering the joy of simply being. Another fundamental principle of Wu Wei is non-interference. This doesn't mean becoming a passive bystander in your own life. Rather, it's about recognizing that not everything needs your intervention. Just as nature often works best when left alone, 
so too can life unfold in its wisdom when we allow it. Imagine a gardener who tends to a plant with care but doesn't force it to grow. The plant thrives not because of excessive interference, but because it's given the space and conditions to do so. Wu Wei invites us to be gardeners of our own lives, nurturing without smothering. Wu Wei emphasizes the importance of embracing the present moment, a concept deeply intertwined with existence itself. In our fast-paced lives, we often treat the present as an inconvenient obstacle to the future. Wu Wei teaches us to savor the moment, to immerse ourselves in the now. When we fully engage with the present, we become attuned to the subtle currents of life, and our actions align effortlessly with the flow of existence. Consider the art of listening. In a world of noise and distraction, Wu Wei invites us to be fully present when we listen to others. Instead of planning our responses or thinking about what we'll say next, we allow the conversation to flow naturally, responding from a place of genuine understanding and empathy. Now, you might be wondering, how does all of this apply to the complexities of our modern lives? Well, the wisdom of Wu Wei is not confined to ancient philosophy, it has profound implications for the here and now. In our fast-paced, information-driven world, the quest for productivity and success often consumes us. We're constantly bombarded by messages that tell us we must do more, be more, achieve more. Wu Wei can seem like an oasis of calm in a desert of busyness. It's not about withdrawing from life, but about engaging with it in a way that's more aligned with our true nature. Consider the workplace, where the pressure to succeed often leads to stress and burnout. Wu Wei suggests that instead of relentless striving, we find a flow state where tasks flow naturally and the need for constant self-coercion diminishes. It's about working smarter rather than working harder, where the quality of your actions surpasses the quantity. One of the beautiful paradoxes of Wu Wei is that the more we let go of the need to strive, the more we effortlessly achieve. When we release our grip on the need to control and dominate, we create space for creativity, intuition, and inspiration to flourish. Think of an athlete in the flow state, a rider lost in the creative process, or a musician improvising a breathtaking solo. In those moments, effort seems to dissolve and they become one with their craft. They've tapped into the art of Wu Wei, allowing their actions to flow effortlessly. This paradox reminds us that life isn't a problem to be solved or a race to be won. It's a mystery to be embraced. When we release our need for constant control and simply let life unfold, we often find that the most profound and meaningful moments arise naturally. In the end, Wu Wei is not a destination, but a way of being, a way of relating to the world and ourselves. It's a timeless wisdom that reminds us that sometimes, the best action is non-action, and the most profound control is letting go. In the words of Lao Tzu, an ancient Chinese philosopher often associated with Taoism, by letting it go, it all gets done. The world is won by those who let it go. But when you try and try, the world is beyond winning. In this act of becoming one with the flow, we discover a life that is not forced but lived, not controlled but embraced. An artful dance of existence itself. Thank you for watching. See you next video.